Following the release of my Litho Paint video tutorial, I had quite a few of you guys asking about free or cheaper photo editing software options and how to use them. Here's a quick look at the GIMP image manipulation software. Let's get right on into it. First off, obviously you need to import your image into GIMP. Next thing, head up to the colors tab there and go down to desaturate. That's gonna flick it to black and white and obviously that's what we're gonna to need to work with. So you can see what areas are gonna look good, what areas are gonna look bad. Remember, litho paints are in grayscale. So, bring, come up to our curves and we can just go down to the dark section. The bottom of the scale there is the darker section, top of the scale is lights. Right now, I'm happy with lights, but I was just, uh, just wanted to bring a little bit more shadow and contrast into the dark sections there. So now we're selecting our brush tool, um, look, with you, it depends on the overall look you're going to want to go for. I like to start slow and build layers up, so opacity I leave at 80. Uh, size, again, is just going to depend purely on the image you're working on and what you're going to be able to fit in the gaps and etc. Now, there are a few different options you can use here. Personally, I find behind is a better option. It's close to layer mask. It's nowhere near as sort of smart as the layer mask in Lightroom, but it's, but it's a very similar option. So what it's trying to do is it's blacking out behind or, or the background or what, you know, basically what you're selecting, leaving what's in front alone, in theory. So now we're gonna go carefully, carefully around the image and basically fill in those gaps, carefully not going over too much of your, um, your subject, but just filling in the background and painting that in black. You can play with your feather levels to ensure you don't get too much of a harsh cut line in places like hair and that sort of thing. You can zoom in and get a much sort of better look at what, you, what you, 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 your edges and your finer details. And um, look, slowly work your way around and let's have a look at how we, how we end out. All right, and once you're generally pretty happy with how everything's looking, you can go back to your zoom section. Come to your original zoom. I think it's gonna be about 50% here, yeah? but that gives us a look. Everything looks good. There's nothing too outrageous that I wanna cover. Look, I'm happy with that. So now we can export that as a PDF, flick it into our Cura, and carry on with the steps as per the original Litho Pain tutorial, which I will include links for. Uh, any further questions on that, guys, feel free to let me know. You could obviously do some further tweaks here if you wanted to, but essentially that's the process. It'll give you guys enough to get started and practice with it. If that did help out, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for a couple more videos coming very, very soon. And I hope to hear from you guys in the comments. Thank you very much. Have a great New Year's. Bye.